Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today we're actually heading to the Palace Theatre in Manchester and we're going to see Heathers. Now I've never seen this musical before and I don't know much about it so I'm really looking forward to seeing it. It's nice to see a new musical because we have seen most musicals me and my husband so it's nice to see a new one. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, we bought... I think not the cheapest tickets, but the, the the second one down. So I think we paid £21 each for our tickets to this one. So again, I'll show you the view from our seats. We are in the grand tier, which is the very top tier. Um, so yeah, it should be fun. So like I do usually, I'll show you any merch that they have. And yeah, show you around the theatre, because I don't think we've been to the palace for a while. Not since before Covid, so this is the first time going back to the palace. And we're going to go and get some food. We're going to go to a Weatherspoons just because it's close to the theatre and it's cheap. And we tend to get served quite quickly because we're not going to have too much time for food. Because um, my parents aren't coming around to look after the kids until five. Um, and then the heart starts at half seven. So we haven't got too much time for food. So we're just going to quickly nip in Weatherspoons, get a bit of food. And yeah, so I hope you're going to enjoy this little vlog. So I'm really looking forward to the show. And also we'll let you know what we think of it when we get home. So... Yeah, I will get back to you now, probably once we're heading out for the tram. So we're just at the tram station. We've got areas. We've got three minutes to wait for the tram and then we're off. Hopefully we've got time for food. We will. He says we will. We'll see. Because uh, I'm hungry now. <laughs> As usual, I went for the chicken burger with cheese and bacon. Lawrence went for the barbecue, barbecue. beef burger. Is that the, the same thing you got last time we came to this one? Yeah. I think you did, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Yes, I got so you got the same thing as you got the last time. Of course, I have to get the garlic bread with cheese because I really like it. And then I just got a Diet Coke and Lawrence got a Cocker Burg. And this just came to 20 quid, so it's not bad, is it? So we're going to eat this and then we're going to head to the theatre. So we just finished our food and we're now walking up to the theatre. Then we're going to go in the shop and buy some water and then we're going to head in. So here is the theatre. People start queuing to get in. Box office is just there, but we've got um, digital tickets or whatever they call them, so we don't need to go in. So yeah, we're just going to go get some water first and then we're going to go head in.
so it looks like this performance is finishing at 10. So we are in the grand tier, so we need to go the other side. So this is the cloakroom, but I don't think this is open due to COVID. So, you can go up these stairs to the Grand Tier, but I'm going to take the lift because <laughs> I'm lazy and it. it is a lot of stairs, <laughs> but we're going to take the lift. Yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing hairspray. Yeah. Also. Here's the lift. So we want to go floor to the ground here. Close doors. So it looks like the main person isn't in this this one. Yeah. The understudy is playing. Like yesterday when we went to see Beauty and the Beast, it was the understudy as well, but shots should still be really good. Not like her name, who the lead was anyway, did we? So. Yeah, so we're just going up to the Grand Tier now, and then we'll show you where our seats are. There's the stairs if you walked up, and then this is the Grand Tier Lounge. That's it. That's what I'm going to bring. Yeah, we want to go and see the waitress. This is the Grand Tier Bar. Huh? Might as well go in. Yeah, well. <laughs>
Just wait for a time now, really enjoyed the show. Awesome. Yeah. So, I'm right, so we are just back from the theatre now and what did you think Lauren? Freaking good. It, you really liked it didn't oh, you? Yeah. I thought it was really good as well. I really really enjoyed it. It's a bit closer to see you. Yeah, because we didn't know anything about it before we went. I hadn't no. read what it was about, what the story was about or anything. And yeah, we just really, really enjoyed it. I loved all the songs. Yeah, and sounds good. Yeah, I just really enjoyed it. I loved the story. It was the not story, what we expected. Not what I was expecting the story, the way it turned and went down. Yeah. But yeah, really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, the main person, Veronica Sawyer, yeah. is her name? Yeah, she, it wasn't the... Uh, they attend this normal lead. It was the yeah, it wasn't a normal lead. It was an understudy doing it. But I thought she was so good. I wouldn't have thought she was an understudy. Her voice was so good. I really Rebecca enjoyed her performance. Wicket was the wig on. Was yeah, supposed to be doing it. She and the wonderful do it was May Tether. It was May Tether, and I thought she was so good. I thought she was really good. Yeah, I enjoyed May Tether. Yeah, a lot. So I don't know how good the um, person who usually plays her is, but. Um, the understudy was amazing, I thought. Yeah, I enjoyed the understudy. Yeah. So yeah, it was really good. So it's like a dark comedy, isn't it, I'd yeah. say. Um, but yeah, really funny. Yeah, funny. Bit, bit rude, but I enjoyed that. Yeah, it was really good. Definitely a, a good story. It's based on a movie. Is it in 1988? 1988 movie. movie. Uh, which we've not seen. No, I, I vaguely it. remember I maybe. I might have to look it up and watch it. Maybe about that movie, yeah. but I didn't think of it until mm. we just looked, looked up now. Yeah. And it looks like they're doing a, 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 re re a remake. I, I think that's it. a remake. I'm yeah, sure. no, it is a remake. Yeah, it's a remake. Then. I don't know if that's. We can watch that as well, maybe, and see. But yeah, might be good. Yeah, that. really enjoyed it. I'm going to now try and find the soundtrack for it so I can listen to the songs. Yeah, really, I mean, this is yeah, the songs again. Really enjoyed it. I think it's how long is it on at the first of all? Is it only a, a it's week. only a week. Only a week. So yeah, it's only on till tomorrow's the last day, or is it Saturday? I think it's Saturday. Tuesday is Saturday. Yeah. Um but it is on a UK tour so it may be coming somewhere near you and I definitely suggest going if you can. Yeah, it's um, quite good and yeah, under no so with some I stuff. think we paid for our seats for our video, we paid twenty one pounds for those seats. I really enjoyed the view. I thought it was really yeah, good it was for them. Fine, for twenty one pounds, yeah. So I was quite pleased with the view for what we paid for it. We liked it. recently. We've just been buying the thirteen pound tickets, which are a bit further up. And I don't think the view's been bad in no, those no. either. The only that difference view is, is a bit better. To get, if you want to get close up, you have to. Get yeah, you can't, can't really see, see, the, see face. the facial expressions and stuff. So if you like seeing people's faces and facial expressions. Then you will need to set closer. But if you're not bothered about that, um, like we didn't really have a choice because we're on a budget and there's quite a few theaters shows we wanted to see this mm -hmm. month. There's yeah, there so, so much yeah, on. Yeah. I think we've even Six missed we missed Rock of Ages. Something had to not go and well, see, so we didn't well, go and it wasn't, see that. Yeah, it wasn't top of priority. Yeah, if there wasn't more things on, I would have gone and seen it because there was more things on that we wanted to mm, see. We'll walk it over Rock of Ages for me. Well, that's not on, is it? So. So yeah, so we're only buying cheap seats so we can go to more shows. And yeah, but I really enjoyed it in those yeah. seats. And it's been a while since we've been to the Palace Theatre and it was nice to be back. Four times since Cough. Yeah. Well, it's four times since Cough and I actually was happy sitting in there, back in there. Mm, yeah. It's been I actually love it in there, there. Well, I love it because I used to work there. So that's why I like it because I used to work there. I prefer the Palace over the Opera House. I think it's bigger. Isn't it? It's a big, yeah, it's big. bigger theatre, and I just, I just enjoy it more than the opera house. I like the building. I like the inside. Yeah. I like the history, mm. history with it. So, um, the first show I saw in Palace, I think it was Will Walk You. Yeah, the first thing I saw, which is what started me loving theatre, was Miss Saigon. Went for my sister, I think it was her 13th birthday. I was like, oh, I don't want to go and see a musical, it's going to be boring. And then I was hooked. Mm. I saw that I was hooked and then I was going to every musical. So yeah, that's the first show that I saw when it was there. I think with this musical we saw, the funny thing is your friend, 
that I used to go. They used to work with. I used to work with Ashley, the person playing JD, the main male character, mm. was a friend of us. Yeah, she was her friend in her from choir her, group. In her choir group, so that's interesting. Yeah, that was in also, the connection. Also, the merch. They were supposed to have quite a lot of merch. No. <laughs> they had, and they had not. It was all sold out. Pretty the much guy so. on Full the day. um on the merch stand said that it's sold out on the first night and they're meant. not getting any more stock in. Which is ridiculous. Obviously they needed more stock if it's on for a week and it's sold out on the first show. And that's happened quite a few times too, yeah. doesn't it? Where they've sold out yeah. on the first show and they've not restocked them. It's so annoying. You need to stock more because all they had left was the t shirts and the hoodies. Yeah. And I think they had a tote bag and that was it. So I think, did they have a mug? I'm not sure, but they should have had but like a key ring, all. magnet, other few things, all sold out. So all I managed to get was the program because there was nothing else in my price range. I didn't really want a shirt or anything like that. Um, but anyway, this is the program. It's just a. I'll just knock it. Yeah, whacking it <laughs> This is the program. Do I just, just show it? Some of the pages. So basic. Does it tell you a bit about it? No. I didn't get a chance to read it because he was reading it. No, no. Didn't just about tells you about the cast, I think, isn't the it? Acts, it's a really the simple one. Sometimes it gives you a bit of information about the production. Yeah. Maybe or but in this one, it's over. just it's just the cast, it's really, the cast. isn't it? Yeah. That was the. Yeah, she was. Focusing. Oh. Yeah, she was the understudy that played the main part of Veronica in, in tonight's performance. And like I said, she was amazing. Can't she fault was her. so good. So I don't know how good the, ori the original um, person is. It's just Horn Norman. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Yeah, she's the one that normally does it. But like I said, what's her name? My name Maybe is Rebecca Wicket. No, the other one. The other one was May Tether. Yeah. She, May was really, really good. Really good. I really enjoyed her performance. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, if you do go and it's the understudy, you're still going to get an amazing like it, show because she was so good. There was fun team was as we were waiting to start, they were just playing music. Yeah, really loud 80s. music. So, that's why I didn't actually speak. Um, once we were in the in the theatre in the auditorium because there was music, really really loud music on, and you wouldn't have heard me, so there was no point speaking while we were in there. But yeah, really really enjoyed it. If it comes again, we're gonna go again, aren't we? I want to see it again. Yeah, I really want to see it again. Really good show. Also, I said to Lawrence after the show that it really reminds me of Legally Blonde, and I just looked it up before, and it is done by the same people. So that's why the songs remind me so much of Legally Blonde. They've got the same composer. So if you enjoy Legally Blonde, the music from that, you'll probably enjoy this one. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little vlog. Uh, if you have, then please do give it a like. We are going to see a few more theatre shows, aren't we, this month? We've still got two more. We've got a classic mix. Like next. Yeah, uh, next week is going to be Grease. Grease. Uh, starring Peter Andre. Peter Andre. As Teen Angel. Yeah. Um, so that is next week's, and then the week after that we're seeing Bedknobs and Broomsticks. A new one, so. And I'm hoping maybe the week after that, Hairspray. Not we'll see. <laughs> and then also, Waitress is, on my list. Waitress is on next month as well, so we want to see that. So, fingers crossed we'll be able to get some tickets for those. So yeah, if you want to see any um, theatre vlogs for those, then do subscribe, hit the notification bell. And then you'll be notified when those go up. So yeah, like I said, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>